Hello everyone, <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, there is Arrow NG. Um, yesterday I started um, um, a, uh, a conversation regarding marriage. Things of marriage, I talk a little bit about um, things of marriage. And uh, today I want to do a volume two of of it you know the world which we are living in and um there's nobody in this world who is useless everybody is useful because the creator of everyone uh, is useful as well so there is nothing negative in his mind so everyone he created are all useful now when i look at myself i told myself I'm not perfect and I have some you know skeletons in my cupboard as well and uh, regarding marriage um, one uh, I told myself I, I, I don't think I even um, deserve to even teach people about marriage not that I'm doing bad in marriage but uh, no so I just stuck this within me but uh, I also came to realize that teachers who teach people in school, they are teachers. The fact they are teacher doesn't mean they know it all. When the child comes graduate as an engineer or a doctor, that child was not taught by a single teacher. There were teachers who taught that child what he or she graduated with so the teacher that taught him english might not know things about uh, physics the one that taught uh, biology i not know things about english so i came to realize in this world we the world is like a puzzle so we all have a share of every we, we uh, our collaboration is what make it complete there are areas of marriage which uh, gifted the knowledge to know uh, more about and there are there are areas of marriage which i know nothing about okay so that's why sometimes i still look around to see to watch videos what other people are saying what their experience and their knowledge about marriages marriage is all about because the areas which I don't know anything about I want to learn so that I will be complete so that I can be perfect because no man has what it takes to be perfect alone so perfection comes from you harvesting from um, every other person around you listening to advice there is different between listening and taking so you can listen but it doesn't mean every advice you you, know, you have to take so i'm making my own video now with just a little bit of what are known about marriage not by experience or by gifted knowledge so if there are areas which i speak that you don't understand or you feel that i'm i'm not uh, lying you should just know that in your own corner you are uh, you are the uh, you are the master of your corner but in my corner you are an apprentice so the fact that you don't agree with whatever i'm gonna say doesn't mean what i'm saying is not true and the fact i don't i don't agree with what you're saying doesn't mean what you're saying is not true so we have individual differences and that is how this world is made of so yesterday i was with uh, a friend so we're discussing that like, I want to start this way he he's not married yet so we're discussing about marriage and uh, he asked me a question after I threw some certain things to him he asked me a question what if um, he have a friend and uh, the wife called him one as a called himself not the friend uh, and told him told him that this your friend I don't want you to move without with that person anymore. I don't like the movement. And he said, 
this person he likes the person he likes to move with the person but the wife doesn't like the person what should he do in that area so and, and he said well, the wife you said it without a reason for instance not that he's experienced he's not married yet so I told him that nobody on earth does anything without a reason everybody does what they do with a reason so I told him he should be able now I'm putting it to you as a man in such a situation you should be able to press your wife down I mean I don't mean compress her I mean try to get into her to know why she feel that you're going out with such person is not approved by her now let me pause here for a minute if you watch my other video that i made concerning marriage um we, i will say the other one i i, I explained uh, some few things about marriage that marriage is about two persons coming together to live as one and i also explained that these two persons has character attitude which they grew up with different attitude different background and different understanding different knowledge so now you are trying to bring these two together to live as one i, I explained that there are going to be a lot of conflict and i also said the best way to manage such situation is for both of them to create a new foundation how the marriage should work because the the man can't force the woman to live by his own life experience and his own life understanding neither will the woman force the man to live by her own so they have to be a new foundation entirely so if you don't have this new foundation that will not look as if the weight is going on one side or one person is cheating, cheating on the other one it's it, there will always be conflict so they have to be a level ground a foundation so i explained all those things now back to what i was talking about so i told him the, you first have to find out from the woman why she said that i said because if that your friend are doing things which are not healthy to marital status they said show me your friend i will tell you who you are now let's assume your friend which your wife is talking about he is a womanizer now i'm speaking to the man now the same applied to the woman let's assume the the man is a womanizer the man lives all kind of lives which are like i said are not really good reputations and uh, the, even though you as the man you are not doing the same thing but the fact that you are moving with that person you are counted as equal and uh, that will create fear and the mistrust in the heart of that woman whether you are a religious person or not the truth is once you sit down try to meditate, try to plan on something. There is a spirit speaking to you. You start to hear different, different voices within you telling you all kind of things. It's real, man. That is reality. If you play down on this intelligence, you will be, you will be sorry. The truth is, that is how it is. There are, there are spirits, there are mechanisms speaking to man from within. You don't see them, but they speak to you. But if you are not wise, you can crash what you are about to start. So, you putting the woman in a very tight corner, because let for, I assume she have a friend who is also a loose woman or a loose lady. She will be by the corner side pressing your wife convincing her that you are doing the same thing your friend is doing like some we say all men are the same all men are cheats so a time will come if your wife is unable to take all this pressure from her friend and from within herself she's going to explode so in, in such situ uh, situation the only way to uh, help her 
is to stay away from that your friend. I'm not saying you just drive him, no. You limit your movement. If you used to go out with him every time, just find something. Or you can let him know, bro, this kind of lifestyle you live in is not good. If you continue like this, I can't, you know, I can't move on with you. Because people believe I'm doing the same thing you're doing. Marriage is, it's easy, it's difficult, it's sweet, it's bitter. If you get it right, things will go well for you. But if you get it wrong, you wish you were never born. A lot of people rush into marriage and all of a sudden they rush out because they thought marriage is one sweet thing that you just get in uh, once you get in there are a lot of advantages and other things now marriage is an education it's an institution there there is only one way and that one way is to continue but many people has created ways if you can continue you ball out it's not supposed to be like that you don't have to be selfish when you are in a marriage because selfish people doesn't survive marriage selfish people doesn't survive marriage because marriage is for people with pure heart don't know how difficult it is for you to manage yourself not to talk of managing someone else not every man not every woman have this tolerance we can tolerate the other person and this is one thing we have to learn if really we want to go into marriage i've seen a lot of men a lot of women wishing to be someone else I've seen a situation where a woman putting her husband away, wishing that her husband was like her friend's husband. And at the end of the day, she pushed her man out. Now, the irony of things is that you are wishing that your friend Let's let me put it this way. Um Ekene is wishing that her husband is like Sandra's husband because Ekene believes Sandra's husband is a perfect man. Not knowing that Sandra's husband is even worse than her own husband. But the difference here is that when Sandra's husband made a mistake, Sandra will cover it up. But when a Kenny's husband made a little mistake, a Kenny will blow it in the air. Let every making everybody believe that her husband is terrible. Now she doesn't look at what she is doing wrong. She concentrates on what her husband is doing wrong not knowing that the same way you'll be offended by what your husband does is the same way your husband is be offended by what you do until she finally pushed her husband out and this husband she pushed out is a perfect bacteria a man who can't tolerate a man who is wise, a man who is hardworking, a man who is not financially selfish, a man who cares. But for no reason or a reason best known to her, she decided to look at Sandra's husband and wish that she have a man like Sandra's husband. I'm not saying Sandra's husband is not good. But Ekene's husband was better. But Ekene was unable to manage her husband. 
she was unable to manage her home because she, one she is selfish two she she um she, she had no regard no respect for humanity she believed she owns everything she believes she is the woman she believes she is powerful but not knowing that no matter how powerful a woman is she can never be powerful more than a man because god has made it the way it is marriage does it have uh, a template the, uh, I said, the, it does it have a basic um how how do i put it it doesn't have a basic like uh, a particular road you have to go through it it depends on what you both want if you really want to make it work like i said in my other video you have to set a foundation for troubles for worry for query misunderstanding is one thing that is stick to marriage no matter how perfect you both are no matter how good you both are one day one day you we have misunderstanding no matter who you see outside i don't even even general overseers of of churches they have misunderstanding with their wives nobody no there's no human being on earth who will work with another man without misunderstanding no one so it is deceptive for people to sit down for a man to sit down and wish his wife was like the other person's wife because he believed the other person's wife is doing better than his own wife or a, a woman sit down and wish that her husband was like the other person's husband the moment we start to see mistake in what we do the moment you start to believe you made a mistake marrying your husband or your wife that day you've created you've created a trouble that might consume you because no matter what the man does no matter what the woman does you've already have an uh, you you've already um kind of configured your brain your senses to believe that you made a mistake and you in our senses which we call satan we continue to remind you you made a mistake and every negative things about the mind about the woman is what you will get every single day like i said issues must rise up there will be queries there are a lot of people who can hold query for days it's not really their fault but it can be worked on Now, I want to tell you one thing. I want to give a serious warning to the men and to the women. Never, as a man, marry a woman who divorced a husband. And as a woman, never in your life marry a man who divorced his wife. But if you must do that, first, as a woman, find out why the man divorced his wife don't find out from the man make your own investigation to find to really know why the first wife left and as a man don't find out from the woman but make your own secret investigation why the first man left same thing goes to women who already have kids and men who already have kids. But what I'm saying is, this is very important. You don't know the reason why the first occupant of their um, uh, position left. And if peradventure the man was doing things that are not right, things that are dangerous, things that could put, that, that could end the woman's life, and the woman was able to escape, and you, Seeing that the man has a car, he has a house, you go, you and the man you met, and the, the man tells you, the, my, my former wife was bad, my former wife did that, my former wife, and make and create stories just to make you believe them. And if you, as a woman, you are not wise, 
you believe that woman when you get there you will experience double of what the, the previous woman went through that's why it is wise that you find out from another person from people around what really went wrong same thing goes to the man because i always tell people for me personally a woman who already divorced her husband i'm no longer single if i was still single then i tell you there is no way out there is no way out i had uh, let me say i have only five percent for it and that five percent i will do my digging thoroughly to know what went wrong so that to save yourself from calamity that may before you in the future this are very very critical situation because i've seen single mothers these ones they've never been married before uh, they have kids they have up to three kids and these three kids are for three different men and men to someone i always ask why did she leave the previous man the father of the child or the father of these children so if you don't know the reason why this woman left and you go with this woman you might experience the same reason now it's not a good thing to have children with a lot of men and it's not a good thing to have children with a lot of women because you are creating a problem for yourself and for the children let's organize our lives let's organize ourselves it's achievable let not be selfish we can just be moving around hopping around from one woman to another leaving them with children without you considering what these children might go through if they grow up without having their father by their side or you can just continue having children from different men without you considering what might befall these children when they grow up to discover that Okbe has a different father Sandra has a different father uh, Onu has a different father uh, Idemudia has have a different father it doesn't make sense you have, it doesn't make sense and this is the reason why most in our society today we have a lot of trouble because we mess things around now let's talk about Europe or America which encourage these kind of things especially Europe Europe does not encourage marriage only the wise can see but we have to be wise to choose what we want not what they want for us choose what you want live a better life it will not cost you much but there will be joy there are many statements or many sayings right that, that really sound good to our hearing but the reality of things is that they are totally not true now i've heard that uh, people say don't let third party into your home and don't let a third party settle your home and all those kind of things it sounds good to our hearing but the reality is that it's not really true you have to determine who you, there must be third party if you like agree with me if you like you disagree with me and i will explain to you there must be third party because in marriage there must be disagreement now the man may be so um uh, perfect that when something happens no matter what you just try to know settle everything it's good but with the woman be that perfect now when something is eating you up 
at a time you cannot handle it you need somebody if a man and a woman have misunderstanding and the woman can't handle it the man can't help her because both of you are already quarreling. At that moment, you see him as your enemy. He sees you as, as his enemy. So the best thing to do is there must be a friend of your husband. Not every friend. One person which you know your husband listening to. One person. Someone, at least, there is no how a man will have friends that he won't have one sincere friend. There must be one sincere person who, when your husband, when you speak to your husband, your husband will listen. So, for a woman, it is within your duty to find out who that person is. Don't be a naggy woman who you chase away all your wife, uh, your husband's friends. Because one day, you will need one of them to bail you out. Because you are about to make a terrible mistake. If you don't get... A, a, a sincere, a reliable, close, uh, close friend to your uh, husband, I tell you, before you realize, you mess up things. The same way it goes to the man. There must be someone your wife listening to in times of misunderstanding. Because when there is mis misunderstanding, I bet you both of you will hardly listen to each other. But there must be someone outside who you listen to. Sometimes it might be the father, sometimes it might be the mother, sometimes it might be uh, uh, the sister or the brother. Most of the times, it doesn't go that way. Sometimes it might be someone, a friend, close to either of them. So, in that time, that is who you need to speak with. And let's be true, let's be fair, let's stop lying. What the man does it do, don't lie that the man did it. And for the woman, and for the man, what the woman do you do? Don't lie. Don't tell lies. Because no matter what, she is your wife. When you lie against her, you are lying against yourself. I tell you, it won't do you good if your wife suffer. Neither will it do you good if your husband suffer. So, you just have to be fair to yourself. That at a time in life, you need someone to speak with. Let your sorrow out. Let your pain out. Let your body out. Then you will be free from within. Then you can accommodate other new things. But at that time, when you occupy, pile up this anger in you, you can do something harsh. You can do something terrible. But when you have someone sincere to speak with, they will help you empty that sorrow from your heart. Sometimes, when you have a bad friend, he or she can mess up, mess up your home. But you have to be fast to figure out who are your friends. Like myself, I have a half friend who, if anything happens today, my wife can call him and say, ah, look, 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 look. And once that person calls me, we sit down together and he tells me things that make sense. And the wife as well, if something goes wrong, she call me and I speak to the man. That is how life works. That is how things work. So, like I said, marriage can be good. Marriage can be terrible. So, but I hope we all get it right because when we get it right, marriage is very, very good. Even the Bible said when two people lay together, sleep together side by side, there is a heat that is being generated. You are not alone. But when one person sleeps, there is oh, the person is cold because there is no one close to the person. It's always good to have a companion, a partner. Is good but let's not misuse our partners let not misuse our partners because the same person you see as terrible person today if you lose that person tomorrow I tell you you will hardly find someone like that
you will search and search and search you will hardly find someone like that so let's be patient to see what we got before we let it go and i hope this little message meets you well and uh, as it continues time after time i will continue to release various video and uh, i pray i will be very happy the day uh, someone will write me and uh, tell me or share something with me on this uh, platform and that day i will know that i'm doing something but meanwhile until then i'll continue to drop videos uh, on this topic so we all can also you know learn and grow together Please, if I say something which uh, doesn't agree with your own policy, don't insult me. Don't be offended. I'm ready to learn from you as well. Okay? Just drop your message. Tell me what you know. Tell me your own side. So, maybe I, I, I might learn a lot from you. That is how we grow. Thank you. Stay blessed. I remain your humble boy. R O N G.